Now, one of you reached out to me and asked me, where do I invest or where do I save my money? In this video, I'm going to talk about where I am investing in this year, in the year 2022, where I'm not investing and what are some of the mistakes I have made, which you probably don't need to make. But before we start, do subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon so that when I create a video, you come to know about it. Now, before we start, it's important to understand how Sandeep Das operates. I am a very conservative person by design. I'm not very aggressive when it comes to investment. So my whole philosophy is that I just want to in beat inflation by one to two percent. So in India, if inflation is six percent in general, avoid the last two, three quarters because of Ukraine crisis, it's gone up. But in India, inflation is generally six percent. I want my portfolio to give about seven and a half to nine percent. So I'm beating inflation and I'm making real money. And what I really don't like is because I'm conservative, I don't like the wild fluctuation. So what I want as an investor is a seven and a half to nine percent consistent growth with very limited volatility. So where do I actually invest in the year 2022? So if I have 100 rupees, which I save every month, I put 70 rupees in debt and I put 30 rupees in equity. Now let's go through each of them. So when I look at debt, 70 rupees uh, or 70% every month that I put in debt, it is only in quality debt. So when I say quality debt, I exhaust public provident fund. I give 1,50,000 uh, to public provident fund every year. I make 7.1%, which is tax free. And the second quality debt instrument I have is I leverage the provident fund. 12% of my basic goes in it. Company puts in another 12% of my basic. I also put in more through the voluntary provident fund. You can always add on to the provident fund through the voluntary provident fund. And what this does is the PF and the VPF gives me about 8.1% in terms of uh, guaranteed return. Now, I have to pay a little bit of tax because my contributions are higher than 2,50,000. So I do pay a bit of tax, but even after the tax, I my debt portfolio makes about 65 to 7%. Please remember, these are very safe instruments. These are very good return in terms of instruments and they are backed by the government of India. So my fixed portfolio makes around the 7% mark consistently. Now, some of you may ask me, do I invest in debt mutual funds? The answer is I used to till some time back. Now I don't, at least this year I'm not doing. And the answer is uh, very, very simple. The reason for that is very, very simple because as interest rates rise, and you will see across the world, interest rates are rising to control inflation. As interest rates rise, prices go down. Prices of these funds go down. So the return scenario is not likely to be very good over the last, over the next one year. So this is what I do in terms of debt. 70% quality debt, PF, PPF gives me about 65 to 7% every year. The remaining 30% every year I put in through equity. Now, in terms of equity, there are two types of funds I generally follow. And I do this every month through an SIP route. One is a, a blue chip fund, a large cap fund for India and a large cap fund for America. This is what I do. So uh, I go to a site, I just pick up a large cap fund that invests in uh, companies which are very big in India. And similarly, a large cap fund uh, which invests in big companies in the United States because I want to capture the growth story. And the reason I go for the mutual fund route is some of you may ask me, why don't you do your own uh, stock investments? Now, I used to do it a lot. I used to follow a lot of stock prices, keep tracking it. But it takes three to four hours every day, to be honest. And it's a lot of effort. So I'd rather have the mutual fund manager do it. I will make less mistakes as per this. So I do large cap India, large cap US. And the reason I don't do small cap and mid cap is I think there is too much uh, fluctuation, too much volatility. They give you a high chance of a higher return, but the downside is also huge. So my equity portfolio, which is a large cap India, large cap US, 30% every month, gives about eight and a half to 10%, eight and a half to 11%, depending on the year. I pay about 10% tax on it. So together my debt, which gives me about six and a half, seven percent and this gives me about so eight and a half, nine percent, gives me about that seven, seven and a half percent consistently with very low volatility so that I'm beating inflation by one and a half to two percent every year. So that's broadly I am doing uh, every month. Now, the next question is where, where else do I have money? Where else do I have money? There are two things I have to look at. One is uh, I have an emergency fund. So about uh, six months expenses. So say if my monthly expense is about 
thirty thirty five thousand. So I take about two lakh rupees, which is six months' expenses, and put it in the bank in a savings account. Why do I do it? It's just for an unforeseen emergency. It could be a medical crisis, could be crisis of any form. So I just take that six months of living expenses and put it in a. a bank savings account that's one in terms of i obviously have insurance i have a company insurance plan which is fairly good and i also maintain my own insurance uh, for myself so these are the two personal investments i make outside the 70% debt and the 30% equity now the next question is where do i not invest now i told you that i do not invest in debt mutual funds now i do not invest in stocks i don't invest in large uh, mid caps and small caps i also do not invest in the following so one is if you've been following my youtube channel and my linkedin profile you will know i'm not a big fan of crypto I'm not, i do not invest in crypto i do not invest in p2p you should definitely not invest given what's happening right now maybe in the future if things stabilize if they come under regulation i will see so i do not invest in any of the instruments as part of decentralized finance i don't invest in gold but i think there's merit to investing in gold i should ideally keep uh, 5% of my uh, investments in gold and even if i buy gold in the future i'll probably do it through digital gold won't buy actual physical gold and the third thing i don't invest in probably the most important point is i do not have any credit card debt now credit card debt is the worst kind of poison you will have so when it comes to credit card usage i always ensure that i will only buy amounts which i can fulfill in the next monthly cycle and i'm not going to carry any form of credit card debt so i'm also debt free which means also i sleep at night so this is in terms of what i am doing every month this year so where are you investing and where are you saving do drop your suggestions in the comments box if you have any questions do drop them in i will try and answer as many as i can before we end this video do subscribe to the channel click on the bell icon until next time take care